Hello, I am Robin Inns. And I'm Brian Cox. And we, as you can see, have been placed in a, a matter transportation machine with unfortunately some errant pieces of fuzzy felt. And thus, we are now half felt and half human. I want to do my song. You can't do your song yet, Brian. We've got to talk about what we're going to do with the fact that we're now puppet beings and we're going to talk about quantum mechanics from a felt perspective. But why can't I do my song? You can't do your song. It's a lovely song. So, we are going to use our puppet selves to explore from a puppet perspective the nature of quantum mechanics, ideas of epigenetics in a minute. All right, I'll let you do your song in a minute. Thank you. Anyway, so we're going to be dealing with these things, particularly from the perspective of puppets. You can do your song now. I can't remember how it goes. Oh, I know. It, it dreams of things that are better. No, it's gone. Anyway, we will with the real Brian Cox, because that wasn't the real Brian Cox. I know it sounded uncannily like him. Am I not Brian? No, you're not Brian, are you? Me doing the voice. Oh, yeah. Sad and beautiful. Coming soon to the incomplete map of the cosmic genome, Brian Cox and Robin Ince, the puppet. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> See, I don't mind the idea of perhaps some of those Greek gods, you know, those squabbly ones that turn into geese and stuff. From that Star Trek episode have... where they did that, oh, that where they that. met the... It was the old, old Star Trek, where they met the Greek gods. Oh, yeah, was it? Yeah. And William Shatner punched one, basically, which is... What Generally he did, yeah. Apollo. Kissed a girl, punched a god. Yeah. <laughs> normal episode of Star Trek. Yeah. No, because I, I think those ones you could have a bit of fun with, but...